Greetings programs, the National Football League and Walt Disney Pictures brings us quite an unusual sports story in 1976's Gus. Let's jump into it. It's easy to view Gus as one of the lowest points in Walt Disney Pictures' slate of 1970s films. After all, it is about a Yugoslavian mule who gets drafted by the NFL as a field goal kicker. Yeah, you heard me right. Walt Disney's son-in-law, Ron Miller, actually played football professionally, including a year as a tight end for the Los Angeles Rams. Also serving as one of the film's executive producers, he was instrumental in coordinating with the NFL on the film's production, including filming locations at the Los Angeles Coliseum and cameos from athletes such as Johnny Unitas and Dick Buckus. Gus, however, is the final film for actor Bob Crane. Crane was best known for playing Colonel Hogan in the television show Hogan's Heroes and was the victim of a homicide just two years after the film's production a crime that is still unsolved. Roger Ebert critiqued upon the film's release that Gus was nothing but a dreary retread of old Disney formulas, but bad reviews didn't help stop Gus from being a modest success for Disney, grossing over $20 million at the box office. It starred Ed Asner, Don Knotts, Tim Conway, Gary Grimes, and Tom Bosley. Director Vincent McVitie presents Walt Disney Pictures, Gus. Enjoy, end of line. <laughs> 